All of you guys have asked me thousands and thousands of times. It's my most common question that I get in my DMs and on a comment on every picture that I post or every video that I post. And the million dollar question that all of you guys wanna know is what mascara do you use? And the answer is L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. Yes, it's from the drugstore. Yes, it's $11.99 and it is the best mascara on planet Earth. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how I do my mascara, how I put it on, all of my little techniques and tips and tricks. And I want you guys to have big, bold, crazy lashes like I have practiced doing on myself for the last 15 years. I'll show you what I love about it. Number one, the formula is very wet, so it allows for a lot of manipulation on your lashes. My favorite thing ever is this brush. It's literally like a comb. Um, I can't stand those huge fluffy brushes. They're so messy. They make your lashes stick together. I find this comb is like an art brush. You can like perfectly set each lash exactly where you want it. I started using this when I was like, I don't even know, like a teenager. And then I kind of graduated, like, you know, I had some friends recommend X, Y, and Z. I tried some designer mascaras. You know, people came out with collabs. I tried those and I'm like, oh my God, these are all shit in comparison into L'Oreal Telescopic and I just always ended up reverting back or there's been times where I've gotten a mascara or especially like a Sephora gift or like sample and I'm like oh okay I'll try it I'd use it once and I'm like I hate this like why did I do this to myself and I end up going over that with my telescopic and like fixing my lashes another trick that I use to get my lashes like crazy like this is I use both of my hands. So I'm naturally right-handed, but I actually do my right eye with my right hand and I do my left eye with my left hand. And if some of you are like, what the hell, that's insane. Um, it's really not, all of you guys can do it. It just takes practice. So I would challenge all of you guys for like a week straight to switch your hands. And honestly, after seven days, you will be good at it too. And the reason why I switch is because I think it makes such a difference with the motion of how you're doing your lashes. So like, obviously for your, if you're right handed, your right eye is gonna be outward like this. But then it's awkward because you have to like turn your arm and then you're trying to do like the same thing on that side, but it looks different. Like you can still tell in my opinion, but if you're sticking with the exact same motion, then you get a, an even result. And so I just switch, it's easier. I don't have to like cramp my arm and like do something stupid or like do, you know, this, like I don't like doing that. Plus I find it gets really messy. So switch your hands. I challenge you guys all to do that. This is my favorite mascara. I have, this has been the most consistent makeup piece that I have been using since I've been wearing makeup. Um, it, I've always used it. They thank God haven't changed the formula, knock on wood. They haven't changed the brush. It's just been always the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. Um, and I will use this for the rest of my life hopefully pending that they don't change it or mess with it in any way because brands always somehow manage to do that. So let me finally show you guys exactly how I do my mascara. Okay, so this is the exact stage of my makeup where I start to do my mascara. I leave it to the very, very, very end Everything else is done. I always do my brows first because I find that sometimes like brow powder or something can fall down onto your eyelashes. And I want my eyelashes to be the blackest, the boldest, the thickest that they can possibly be. So I leave everything till the end. My mascara goes completely last. This is from earlier, this baking powder, but I always leave it as well while I do my mascara because sometimes I, let's be honest, most of the time I spill and I get it all over the place. If I'm wearing eyeshadow, I'm much more more careful and I don't usually, but I kind of get a little confident when I don't have uh, eyeshadow on because I'm just kind of going to town. So I have my baking powder on underneath. It's the Becca brightening powder. It looks like this. It's like my favorite brightening powder ever. Um, and I mostly focus underneath, but I do like very, very slightly dab the tops of my eyelids as well, as you guys might be able to see. Um, that is so when I get mascara on my eyelids, it comes off really easily and it doesn't look like it just looks smooth. Cause if you don't do that and you take a Q-tip and you remove mascara, um, it like kind of takes your foundation off and it looks strange. So I just want it to be like smooth and perfect. So I leave brightening powder on, on the top as well. And then also it kind of like leaves your eyes a little bit more bright than you otherwise would have had them. So it just like if your eyes are brighter, the better, right? I have curled my lashes with like the most basic Revlon curler of all time. Um, I could probably at this point get a new one, but this works. 
so I just leave it. So here is the best mascara on the entire planet. This video is not sponsored, I wish it was. I'll be honest with you guys, this is like a bit of an older one and I also had like a good couple of spans of time where I wasn't even using it because I wasn't wearing makeup because I was locked down at home. Uh, so I wish this was a new bottle, not gonna lie, but it'll be even more of a testament to how good this mascara is because even with it sort of running on empty, you're still gonna see that it's gonna be such an amazing process and such an amazing result. Let's do this. I always start with my right eye. So I always start at the this side of my eye, like the outer edge. And I'm also doing this in my phone, not a mirror. So you guys have to bear with me. And I start at the base of my lashes and I don't even bother like going out to the edge. So once I've gotten all the base done, then I go back again and I do like the full thing. And then I also start to go backwards like this. And I really go right all the way to the root on the top as well. And each time I'm like, get the brush up to the very tips of the ends of my lashes, I kind of push back as well to really make them like fluttery and open. So once I feel like I've done the whole lash, I close my eye like this and I just, just do the tips and I kind of like push on them at the same time, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna like wing out these a little bit and like separate them. Like I, I feel like you have so much control with this brush, whereas like a lot of other ones, they're too bushy to do that with. Okay, so I feel like this is probably done, but I'm going to come back and do like one last coat, but after I've done my other eye and after I get a mirror, cause this is way too hard, this phone shit. Okay, so onto the next eye. I actually switch hands. I am naturally right-handed. I did my right hand with my right eye and now I'm going to use my left hand for my left eye. So I have a mirror now. So again, I'm just starting with my, the base. not worrying about going all the way up. And like this normally would be so much wetter. Like I feel like it would go on faster, but as I mentioned to you guys, it is running out. I also do slight like back and forth movements like this. Cause it really helps get the mascara on like every single part of the lash. I was told like many years ago not to pump your mascara, so I don't know why, I, so I don't do that. Um, but I do have to get some more on it. So now that I've done all of my base, I'm going and doing the tops. And like, I'm definitely getting mascara all over my eye, but I'm not worried about it. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna do like the closing my eye thing and just like touching up the tips. Okay, do you guys see how it's like really consistent? And it's cause I was able to like pull out on each side. And the only way to get that in my opinion is just by switching your hand and just try it a couple times. Force yourself to do it for like a week and you'll get good at it and you won't go back. So I'm gonna dip it one more time. I'm gonna go back sort of now and do like, not necessarily a full second coat, but just like touch ups, plus like adding it in places where I think it needs it. And like just separating certain lashes. Okay. Yeah, you don't want it to get, you don't wanna get carried away. I kind of just did, <laughs> but you don't want it to get like too be. If that does happen and you find it to be like not fluttery enough, you can definitely go in with a comb. I have like a super fine tooth comb, 
that I'll go in and just like brush it through and that always does the job. Okay, back to the other side quickly, just for like, again, quick touch-ups. This side doesn't really need it. I'm just gonna... And the last stroke you always wanna do is up and out. You never wanna end on a down stroke because it will like push your lashes down a bit. Okay, I think that's good for the top. So now what we shall do is I'm going to clear away the Becca brightening powder underneath my eyes, but leave like the tiniest little layer because like the last, last layer will bake into my eyes eventually and just kind of go away on its own. But I do want to leave that sort of protective layer so that when I get mascara on my bottom uh, eyelids, I can just wipe it off easily. Um, sometimes I do use a brush depending and I do like a nice sweep out. Sometimes I use my fingers. It kind of depends on what mood I'm in. Um, sometimes the brush I find it like isn't good enough and your fingers just do like the best job. So today I'm just gonna use my fingers uh, mostly because I don't have my brush with me. Okay, so I do have like still the tiniest little bit on and I do have it on my eyelids too. One thing to definitely note is uh, leave like ample time. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll do my top mascara. I get my hair shit started. So like if I'm heating up my iron or or whatever it only takes like two minutes but it's that extra two minutes that lets your top lashes dry because uh the worst thing in the world is getting mascara on like the tops of your eyelids and underneath it sometimes does happen to me that would be like my only complaint about this mascara but i think it's inevitable and i think it just happens no matter what but when you have the brightening powder on transfer is very very minimal so that definitely helps with that too um so okay i think my lashes are dry enough also too i always close my eyes to give them a little loft so i'm gonna start right hand right eye again and I kind of do like a bit of a tilt this way. I do a lot of like back and forth on the bottom because I find it's just, I need the mirror. I find it's just uh, easier to sort of get on all of the lashes. But you definitely want to make sure it's on your root for sure. Whoops, I just blinked with the wand in my eye. The little back and forth technique is just like such a lifesaver because it really allows you to get mascara everywhere without having to like paint it on a million times in a row, if that makes sense. I, I'm dipping it again just cause like I'm running low in this bottle, but you normally wouldn't have to do this. So after I've done the root, I kind of squint my eyes even more, make sure they're not touching the bottoms of my eyes. And then I do the little shaky technique like on the tips. Sometimes this is a risk, but I can go up and underneath too. And that's a very like beautiful, bold way to get a lot of mascara on the bottom and usually help with clumps too. Okay, so of course, as I'm doing this video for you guys, it's like getting clumpy on the bottom. So I'm just gonna fix that with a comb later. It's not a bad idea to do a quick little fan as well because when you do your other eye, um, it might touch the bottom. But so far, like I touched, I did touch the wand to my face a couple of times and nothing happened because of the brightening powder. So back in for another dip and left hand, left eye. I swear one eye always turns out so much better than the other. And I'm actually pretty happy with the left eye. Like I don't really need to do much touching up. I just might like manipulate these ones slightly. Okay, so I just grabbed a comb. Uh, this one, I, I do have a finer toothed comb somewhere. Obviously someone's moved it. Um, but yeah, you can just go, so never like brush this way on your lashes. Always go up and out because uh, you don't want to get mascara all over your face. I'm gonna use the mirror again. So I know I just said don't do the down thing. Um, if it's dry enough, you can do it like near the base. Just don't like push it all the way down if that makes sense. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, it's like a little clumpier than the left side, but your eyes are never even, or mine never are anyway. So yeah, that's it. And then you have the rest of the day to have beautiful, long black lashes. Like I said, I do, it's the exact same technique if I'm wearing eyeshadow, I'm just a little bit more careful. Let's take off the excess. So obviously just grab a Q-tip and you can just like very slightly, slightly, slightly sort of like scrub away at wherever you see any mascara. 
and like that's already one eye off and like i want you guys to see like notice how there's like no streaks or anything on the top of my eye like you can't really tell that i went and did that and it's because of the brightening powder that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys can take a lot of my tips away with you and try them yourself. Like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel if you're liking all my videos.